We all look back fondly upon the games and shows we watched while we were younger. We like to say things were better back then, simpler and more pure. But sometimes these fond memories of ours prove to be a lie, painted by the glasses of nostalgia and, once we return, we find them to be nothing but shadows of what we believed them to be. Let's talk about one of those memories. Let's talk about Minecraft's Aether Dimension. On the 25th of July of 2011, the user Captain Clouds uploaded a video onto YouTube titled Minecraft, how to make an Aether portal. It was a brief showcase on how to make a portal to the Aether Dimension. Making an Aether portal isn't very difficult. You simply build a portal frame out of glowstone blocks and flood the frame with water and it will activate the portal. The portal itself had a very interesting design had the exact same shape as the nether portal, but uses the bright, almost ethereal looking glowstone blocks instead of the heavy, dark obsidian, and uses water to activate it instead of fire. The two portals and respective dimensions couldn't have been further apart from each other. But both serve the same function, bringing the player to another world. Once you go through the portal, the Aether awaits. A magical world of sky islands, clouds, and heavenly creatures. Whereas the nether is located below Minecraft's overworld like a fiery underworld, and is shaped like a cavernous hellscape, the Aether is located high above the surface of the earth and is like a heaven to the overworld. It has no ceiling, the ground is nowhere in sight. You are completely surrounded by the boundless sky. In the distance, you can see sky islands holding temples, fantastical creatures soaring through the sky, and the infinite potential of the endless free sky around you. However, there is one thing about the Aether that sets it apart from the overworld or the nether. You see, the Aether was a lie. It was never actually in Minecraft, or at least not in the base game. The Aether was a fan-made mod something you had to install manually on your PC to add to your game. In hindsight, it was obvious. The video says it's a mod in the description. The menu in the video is different and there are strange items on the player's hotbar. And because information about the game was scarce back then, and because all of us were still innocent and foolish. Or maybe everyone wanted the Aether Dimension to be real so badly we started believing it. So, without the creator's intention, Everyone started believing they could make the Aether Portal in their own world. Only when they tried to activate it, nothing would happen. There was no glowing portal. There was no ethereal realm waiting for us, no new adventures and new creatures and blocks to find. All there would be was a puddle of water, an empty frame and a sad feeling of betrayal. The Minecraft Aether is one of those lies from our childhood. But not in the sense you would think. Hundreds of thousands of people have built the portal, only to find it leads to nowhere. Despite the Aether not even being in the game, it is considered one of the core Minecraft experiences. Like your first night in a dirt shack, your first time in creative blowing up a village, trying to break bedrock and playing with friends. And although that portal didn't lead to paradise, it did collect thousands of players and brought them together to the shared experience that was the Aether, or rather the idea of reaching the promised heavens. And now, when you look online, you won't find resentment, but instead there'll be nostalgia. It became a staple of the Minecraft community, the shattered dream that we all shared and look back on fondly. The Aether might have been alive once, but it echoed into the future and it became something more. Not soon after the Aether video was released, a custom Minecraft map called Skyblock was released. A map in which the player had to survive on a single sky island. Clearly the desire for a free and endless sky hadn't died down when the pulse of the Aether didn't activate. Skyblock would become another cornerstone of Minecraft history, and allow people to experience life far removed from the ground. But the desire for the Aether and the dreams didn't stop there. Mojang, or Mojang, added its own sky dimension in the form of the End Dimension, an endless expanse of floating islands that await the player at the end of their journey, and later finally added the Elytra into the game allowing people to fly through the sky without the use of mods. And ever since, the desire for the Aether has lived on. 
The desire for a new adventurous world was fleshed out fully in the Twilight Forest mod. Another mod that added its own dimensions, and ever since then, countless mods, maps and builds have been created that replicate and build upon the same desire. The desire for an exciting new world filled with adventure, mysteries and wonders, once lit by a broken portal. We've all grown up now, and so has the Aether. What started out as a video that broke all our hearts became something that we can now finally experience for ourselves. With the latest update, the Aether is available once again to everyone, and now we all know how to open the portal. Truly, the Aether is Minecraft's most beautiful lie. <laughs>